to Sam. He is top dressing some uh, green waste compost onto some direct drilled wheat. It's next it day's wheat. Uh, it's just spreading it really quite well, really. Uh, he's managed to go on the tram lines, which are 24 metres, and then once in between, so he's going at uh, 12 metres. This wheat was is grown after a crop of spring oats. It has got going, but uh, it has looked quite hungry from the start. So I think this uh, compost that we're putting on should just uh, help to kick it along a bit. Um, we don't normally top dress crops, but uh, we're sort of moving a little bit more towards a bit more direct drilling. And I kind of figured that I didn't really want to paddle the ground in autumn when I was establishing crops, so I'd try putting some on in spring when the ground's a bit drier and hopefully it'll carry the tractor and spreader a little bit better. Uh, looking at this so far, I think that should work. Uh, I do know that the earthworms absolutely love this green waste compost, so hopefully it'll get them up and about and working. Uh, the field did just struggle to stuff for a bit with uh, maybe slugs a little bit uh, and there was an also a lot of livestock eating this wheat over winter there was uh, rabbits, hares, deer, pheasants, crows, you name it it was all I came down one night and the field was virtually full with uh, livestock none of it farming livestock but uh, hopefully as things warm up uh, it's had a bit of fertilizer because it's not an organic field this and with this bit of muck it should hopefully grow away from a few of the issues I've had. Uh, like I say, oat stubbles do, it seems, tend to be really quite uh, quite hungry. I think the oats take up a lot of the nutrients that are left in the soil. Um, but anyway, it's interesting. I'm not sure it'll yield quite as well as if we'd ploughed this field, but uh, hopefully it'll cost us a lot less to grow because uh, it didn't get rolled. The only thing it got was uh, was direct drill. That was the only only operation it got, and spread with glyphosate. So establishment was cheap, fuel was cheap. We can afford a little bit of a yield penalty. Uh, hopefully we won't have one anyway. But that's going well. Hopefully I don't get covered in it. Although it's not as offensive as uh, some things with spread with spreaders. Thank you.